COVID-19 has changed many of things in society. One of those is the dining system on campus. There has been several changes this semester at North Dining Hall, Crimson Cafe, The Hub, and Folger Dining Hall. The major changes to dining at IEP has been the closures of options The Fireplace, Burger Studio, Cheese Please, Einstein Bagels, and The Put Pod due to limited staffing and sustainability issues. These changes have affected the ways that students dine on campus. IEP students Michael McGrath and Ethan Walkowitz describe how the closures have affected them and their daily dining styles. Um, I mean, I used to go to Cheese Please a little bit more. Uh, then, you know, obviously that's closed, so that kind of sucks. Um, but honestly, other than that, not really, no, no change really. I just go to Northmore, I guess, now. The fact that it's, you know, un like unlimited food, you know, you can just get whatever you want and however much you want of it. I like the pizza a lot, I like the burgers a lot. They're usually solid options. It's kind of just been the same. I don't know, it was. I really didn't eat a lot on campus last semester, so like, I guess I'm eating more on campus now that things are, are getting back to normal. The closures have affected me greatly because I used to go to Crimson a lot because I, I live in Stevenson and that was closer, so I could just walk there and now I have to walk all the way to the hub and that's pretty much a struggle. And there were some really good places like Burger Studio and Cheese Please that I really liked that they got rid of. I adapted pretty well because at least um, Grillworks and Mashville have some decent options that I can eat. Despite these many closures to the dining options on IEP's campus, IEP has still found a way to make new options for students and adapt. North Dining Hall is featuring favorite items from the fireplace that was originally at Crimson Cafe. They are also serving made-to-order pasta, stir-fry, walking tacos, and much more. North Dining offers a buffet-style selection. On some nights throughout the semester, North Dining Hall has premium themed dining events, offering students more variety and styles of food. Mashville moved from Crimson Cafe to The Hub, replacing Revolve Kitchen. The Hub will also offer grab-and-go breakfast options, as well as the campus favorite, Chick-fil-A. The Pod Back Lunch Program has moved to Crimson Cafe, along with candy and favorite items from the Pod. This is a fast option for students who want to grab food on the run. Starbucks and Bento Sushi remain open at Crimson. The dining changes are fully underway and have been running smooth throughout the semester. As COVID goes away and our community returns to normal, we should expect more changes in the future. Make sushi every day. Make it an everyday thing. I feel like it's, uh, since it's only certain days a week, everybody like swarms the sushi and I, ne I never managed to get like any of it. So just bring back the pod to keep open until one because when everything else closes at 7.30 and I want like a midnight snack, nothing's open, and that kind of stinks. I mean, Folgers is okay, but sometimes it's like really crowded, so at least the, the pod isn't that crowded during the late night too, so. This has been James Geddes, reporting for IEP TV News.